Hello, boys and girls. We are now in week number four of December, and I have a fun one-day project that everyone can try, and it's a lot of fun. And there's a couple little steps involved. So what I'm gonna do is tell you first what you need. You'll need some scissors. You'll need a stapler. You'll need a glue stick. And you'll need some paper. Now I happen to be using this gray card stock, but if you have plain white paper, it'll do the same thing, all right? So let me pan you down and show you what we're gonna do. All right, so take your piece of paper and put it down so it's tall, vertical, okay? Grab your glue stick, and I'm using a purple one so you can see it on the camera. And what I want you to do is run glue up and down the one side like this. So you have glue on the edge. And then what you're gonna do is roll it around to make a tube. And it should be a nice long tube like this. And when you overlap, overlap about that much. Okay, don't overlap too much, it'll be too small then. All right, and then once you have that, it's gonna wanna come open or open up, do you see that? So take it and flatten your tube and just run your finger across the seam. And in a minute, it will stay sealed and you'll have sort of a crushed circle, okay? All right, so now what you wanna do is take this crushed tube and you wanna fold it in half. And folding it in half lets you figure out where the center is, okay? So you fold it in half and just create a crease on the middle line there. Take your scissors and cut on that line. So when you're done, you have two tubies, okay? So now what you wanna do is you wanna take your two tubes and you're gonna make six pieces on here and six pieces on here, so having a total of 12. Now, I'm pretty good at measuring with my eye and I bet you, you are too. But if you really wanna measure and equal out your cut marks, you can use a ruler. Okay, but I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this. So I'm gonna make six on here. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And I'm gonna repeat it here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, so here are my 12 little round tubies. I'm gonna take six of them first. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, if you did not measure and you did it with your eyeball, a little tip is line them up like this and pick the six that are closest in size, okay? Because like that guy's super big and that guy's super little. So let me move him over here. All right, so let me take the six that are pretty much the same height. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And I'll put these off to the side. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my stapler and I'm gonna staple these together. But I want you to, when you staple them together, kind of puff them open so they're back into a rounded shape. You wanna staple as close to the end as possible. So line them up, take your stapler, and you wanna Get your stapler in between the two holes and move your stapler over as far as you can get it and just throw a staple in there, okay? Now you take your next one two ends around 
staple that together and you will get a beautiful shape like that. Do you see that? Okay. So now you're gonna take the six remaining pieces and you're going to put it in between two of the tubies and just take your stapler and you staple one on the left and staple one on the right. And again, you wanna staple as far down as you can and here I already did the other ones and you can see how I put them in between. But look at how beautiful it is. With a piece of paper, you can make this really pretty snowflake. So what I wanna do now is show you how you can enhance this and make it even more beautiful. You can take another piece of paper. Now I happen to have this silvery gray and this beautiful gold. And I'm gonna cut this into long strips about the same width as each of those little tubes. So if I measure this, you can see it's just about the same size. All right, I'm gonna take a pencil and I'm gonna roll this piece around the pencil, just like this, we've done this before. And you wanna kinda Get it between your fingers like this, and you have a little tube, and hold it for a few seconds, because paper is made up of fiber, and if you bend that fiber, fiber has memory, just like we do, and it will remember to stay the way you bend it. So if I let this go now, you can see that the fiber is staying bent. So now what I'm gonna do is loosen this up just a little bit, and squish it just a little bit, just to create almost like an eyeball, you see that? And you can make one for each opening. And for this, I'm gonna take a little bit of my glue and just close up that end. Let me move you down. See where I put the glue? And I'm just gonna glue it shut, and then I'm gonna give it a little press almost looks like a teardrop, do you see that? And I can take glue now, and just put the glue on the outside, and I can start putting these inside each hole. Do you see what that did? It created a design within the design. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna do, I think six of them. I think I'm gonna leave these open and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so you can see I did it six more times and they're falling out because I really need to let it dry. But you can see how you can spiral the paper to really make your decoration look so much more decorative. So I'm gonna leave this on the table to dry and I hope you had fun learning how to take a couple pieces of paper and make a beautiful three-dimensional snowflake. Have a great vacation, boys and girls, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.